The Neva 3D printer coming to us from the Degoma system is a 3D printer you can buy. I'm having a hard time working through my feelings and thoughts about this 3D printer because it feels like for every good and clever decision it makes, there's an equally weird decision on the other side of it to consider. And overall, it's leaving me with a sense of... Eh. My boys actually were the ones who unboxed and put together this printer for the first time. So why don't we start by letting them tell you a little bit about their experience with this 3D printer thus far. So boys, what did you think of the experience of putting together this printer? Um, simpler than I thought. Yeah. But also a bit trickier with the magnets and the it has to be positive and negative on specific oh, places. Oh yeah, and when it tested itself, the magnets uh -huh. just came apart and it was like... Ah. It was a pain. It was, I, just I didn't think I it was so serious. I thought it was just like, oh, okay, slap them on instead. Yeah. Do and then pop off. What'd you learn from that experience? You need to go along and be... Read the instructions. Yeah. My favorite part of this thing was taking this off and getting a free souvenir. Yeah, yeah. I got two of them. So the boys had a good time with this printer and they're going to continue to have a good time because I will say this right up front. I'm going to keep this 3D printer. It's working so far. It's going to continue to work for me, it seems, and I'm going to give this printer to my kids in the sense that it's going to be here. I'll find some room for it on my desk somewhere. But they are going to be allowed to come in and run a print on it just whenever they want. It's going to be set up for them. So in that, that's a positive thing that I can say about this printer. It's, it's good enough, and I feel strongly enough about it that I can hand it to my kids and let them use it. But on the other hand, there's a lot of things about this printer that it lacks. I mean, for instance, it came with no sort of filament holder. There's no place to put filament on here. The, the instructional videos seem to indicate that what you're supposed to do is, is lay the filament on the table and just let it pull itself off. And I don't exactly feel comfortable with that sort of thing. One of the first prints you should print out on this should be some sort of filament holder if you don't have another solution somewhere else. Now, that's not bad, but it's weird that they don't mention anything about it. It's also a simple 3D printer. It only has a button that you touch and a, a build plate that you can tap on. Why tap on the build plate? Well, because there are sensors on the build plate. This is a Delta 3D printer, which means that the build plate is stationary. But you kind of have to level your nozzle. You kind of have to have the nozzle sense where the build plate is. And there's a couple of different ways to do that. You can put sensors on or near the nozzle, but their solution is super clever. They put switches on the build plate. So the build plate can tell when it's being depressed. So when it levels, it comes down and it touches the build plate. It depresses the build plate and the build plate goes, ah, you've touched me, great. That's where we have our interaction. Super clever idea. And that means that we can interact with the printer by touching the build plate. Now, how do we use that? For unloading filament. Double tap on the build plate and the filament will unload itself automatically. Now, how do you load filament though? Well, that's simple too. You just come over to the uh, feed mechanism here. You give it a good squeeze and you shove the filament in and keep shoving until it comes all the way through. That's weird. Like, why couldn't this thing have been smart enough to sense that when I double tap it and there's no filament in there, that instead of doing an unload, it does like a slow load. And as soon as you get the filament in there and it feels it, it does a quick push to get it to the nozzle. I don't know. I don't know why they didn't make that decision. It goes from feeling clever to feeling cheap. So how do you start a print if you don't have anything to interact with except for one big button? Real simple. You load up their version of Cura on your computer. No new version of Cura with new features for you. No, stick with the stock. You stick your SD card in your computer. You slice the model on your printer or on Cura. It saves it to the SD card. This SD card contains one file, just the one file that you've recently sliced. They all get named Dagoma0.g, not G code, G. Then you take that file with that or that SD card with that one file, you put it 
in the printer, you hit the on button, the printer says, oh, I've got a file to print, and it begins the printing process. Now that seems simple, but at the same time, why not let us use a newer slicer? Why not have the, the computer look at the SD card and just take the most recent file regardless of what it's named? No, they simplified the process for you. Is that really what we want in a simpler 3D printer? Plus, if the file's not named properly, if something goes wrong and you click on that, it just blinks at you. What's that mean? I feel like I'm trying to have a conversation with a mute R2-D2 and I haven't learned computer talk yet. It's frustrating. Now, they also sent us, uh, they also sent me a couple of rolls of Polymaker Polyflex, the flexible filament. And I thought, flexible filament on a Bowden extruder? I gotta give that a shot. So I went through the loading process. Squeeze, shove, 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 shove. Have you ever tried to shove flexible filament? It's not easy. And I thought I had gotten it all the way through, but when the print started, it was actually way high up. So I just let it go. I figured I will let the print process do the feeding for me. And as soon as it started coming out, I canceled the print. Wait a second. How do you cancel a print on this thing? I had to go to the Facebook group for the Neva 3D printer users, which I recommend for any 3D printer that you have, find a group and ask, their que ask questions there. And those people told me, yeah, the way that you cancel a print, real simple. You just yank out the SD card while it's printing. <laughs> Do you want bad sectors? Because that is how you get bad sectors. You can, of course, push the button, pause the print, and then yank out the SD card so it's not an active write, but still seems odd to me to stop a print by yanking the 3D print file out from underneath the printer while it's printing. But hey, that's the way it's done on this printer. Now, once I got the flexible filament loaded in, I successfully printed a 3D block zoo dragon that my son designed, and he was super excited about this. I, I wanted to test and see how fill uh, I'll how supports removed from polyflexin. Yeah, it's about the same as any other TPU I've used. That is to say, have yourself a razor blade and a pair of diagonal cutters on hand because it ain't just gonna break off. But then, yeah, it's a flexible print on a Bowden extruder. So in the end, it really, really impressed me. Now I was doing this print to try and do a stress test, both for the flexible filament and for the printer. I wanna do a big print on here, as big as it can do, and see what it does. I was printing the Pi vase because it's very complicated, but because of the uh, flexible filament, there was a lot of droolies and it just made the numbers unreadable. So once again, I had to cancel that print in that odd way that you cancel prints. The, they do not recommend yanking out the power because if you yank out the power while the fan is going, then nozzle will be hot, it will have material in there and it will jam. And when this printer's nozzle jams, how you fix it is you box it all up and you send it back to Degama so that they can put it back. Anything else voids the warranty, which I guess I should have thought about that before I threw the box away. Hey everybody, interrupting myself really fast during the editing process of this video. I just want to point out that that last statement was meant to mostly be taken in jest. I'm sure that Deg Alma or Degoma or whatever they're called, they, they, they don't you know want you to send back their printer for every little thing. They do have a procedure for unclogging your nozzles should something happen, and it's on their website and all. So yeah, I, w I was joking around. Uh, of course, you know, breaking the warranty is something that we makers shouldn't be afraid of. But that's not what I'm interrupting myself about. Why I am interrupting myself is because uh, during this video, I realized there was something that I forgot, something major in, in my opinion of this machine that I just forgot when I was doing the video. And so I'm here to encourage you when this is done, to go to the comment section, find the pinned comment where I link back to my blog and go read my notes on the blog because I have actually quite a lot to say about why I gave this printer the meh review that I gave it that maybe it didn't deserve. Maybe I'm taking something a little bit too much into account that I shouldn't. 
and I'm going to leave that to you to decide whether or not I'm being too hard on this printer. So, that said, I will return you to the previously pre-recorded review with a slightly higher frame rate. So far, 3D printed parts. I mean, that's the way to go. Yeah. Although Just 3D print a 3D printer. Although that you is need system. actual, you would need another 3D printer, so you'd wind up with two 3D printers from one. <laughs> so I guess it would also, be a bit of a pain to, to um, pay for the if that one. If this thing were made of Filament. 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 It would just melt, it would itself, just melt itself, itself and the whole thing would come out and yeah, that, it would, that would be actually it would just be crazy crazy awesome to see and that would be hilarious. I would yeah. love seeing that just Another thing about this printer that is like gung-ho about 3D printing is that it's 3D printed. The motor carriages, the top and the bottom cases, and even everything around the extruder is 3D printed. But 3D printing parts for a 3D printer that is designed to melt plastic can be a little bit tricky. You really have to be careful about it and print it in a higher temp plastic than you're going to be using on the printer. So I contacted them and I said, hey guys, is this not PLA something that will stand up to being put in a car on a hot day without softening and warping and their response is oh no it's it's like 50% PLA man really again super high dedication to the cause but then PLA really it's a weird decision on top of a clever decision and I feel like that's the theme of this whole 3d printer a weird decision on top of a clever decision so do I recommend this 3D printer in the general case and, and do is it one of the 3D printers that I'm going to recommend to people in the future? I... I don't know why I hesitate. I mean, on the one hand, it's got a lot of good features and it's a good printer. But on the other hand, particularly about the fact that there's no screen for it, I have long said that I would not mind a 3D printer that simplified the whole 3D printing process, but they went about it in a way that didn't actually simplify anything. It just took away the user input or user output, I suppose, and, and made it so that it was just more confusing. It's a decision that feels less like they were trying to make something smarter and more like they were just trying to make something cheaper. But does that mean that they were cutting corners where they could so that they could put those extra resource points into where it matters, like the electronics and the, the motors. I hope so, but I don't know. And one big problem that I have with reviewing 3D printers is that I cannot give these the lifetime of use that I feel I would need to to give it a solid review. So instead, I went to the people on the user group who have had a little bit more experiences and their responses are that a lot of people are having really good and positive experiences with this printer. They love this printer, those who have it work. But some people, uh, some people are getting printers opened up out of the box DOA. Some people are getting printers that work, but then they get a jam and have to send it back. And that's frustrating. Some people just can't ever get the level to work and it's tearing up the build plate. <sighs> Overall, I would say it's more good than bad. And I will say big plus side for Degama if people are having problems, they're managing to get their money back. And so that's good. Like people who are complaining about GearBest on my GearBest video, they got nothing to complain about from Degama. These people are apparently working really good to make sure their customers are happy. So big plus on that. And if that's important to you, and if having a 3D printer that's easy enough that you feel comfortable handing it to kids or anybody, then hey, yeah, good 3D printer. It hits all those points. But there's enough about this 3D printer that I find difficult to recommend in the general case. So I'm gonna leave it up to you. If this sounds like a 3D printer that satisfies what you want in a 3D printer at a price that it's more expensive than a Mini but not quite as expensive as a CR10 and it's got a bigger build plate than a Mini by a little bit, then maybe this is the machine for you. I want to thank you very much for watching and a special thanks to my Patreon backers. You guys 
keep me going month after month and I, I very much appreciate and need your support. And uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. Safety first. I'll see you next time. Do you want to know more about 3D printing but don't know where to start? Or did you buy a 3D printer but you need some help getting it going? Don't panic. The beginner's guide to the 3D printing galaxy is here, now, for you. Buy it on Amazon. Now, how would you feel if I told you that I'm gonna make sure that you guys can use this one whenever you want? That would be awesome. Would it be okay to like hold him up to the camera and make him flappy flap? Wait, he's weak? Oh, that Wait. is cool. He can sort of fix that.